What's up guys, it's your boy Alan Wade. How are you? Thank you for joining me. And today I wanna to show you how to thread your brother SE600. Got this um, embroidery slash sewing machine and I absolutely love it. I was a little hesitant. I didn't know how I would feel about it after I got it. I did a bunch of research and I decided this was the best one for me to go with right now for the price. And um, because it had that um, uh, touch screen feature and it was a color display that was important to me also. Now, my reservations on it, I do wish that I would have gotten the bigger one, the um, the PE uh, 770. I think actually there's another one, this PE 8 something, which has the bigger hoop size and the color screen, but I'm okay with that because I'm able to manipulate my designs in the Brother PE software and get this machine to do what I need to do. And for right now, a beginner, a beginner, I think that the uh, 4x4 hoop is enough for me and to do what I'm trying to do. So let's get into how to thread this machine, guys. A-Dub Productions. All right, guys, so the first step, obviously, is to get yourself some bobbin thread. I got my white bobbin thread right here, and this is what we're gonna use white bobbin thread to thread up this machine right here all right so next step is to put the bobbin thread in place at the top of the machine you're going to see some illustrations this right here shows how to wind a bobbin right here like the small a, a small bobbin actually and this is a spool it's, yeah well anyway this is a bobbin also. anyway whatever uh i don't know all the names for everything so um you know i'm just doing this and showing you guys how to do it because i learned how to do it all right so um this shows how to wind a bobbin right here and how to thread the machine is actually down on the base part on the sewing part down here so um right now we're going to get the machine ready for embroidery so you got your embroidery bobbin Take this off right here off the top, this piece right here. Set it to the side. You're gonna go ahead and put your embroidery thread in there. And you're gonna go ahead and put this back on, the cap back on this way, guys. There's two sides to this cap. You're gonna put it on with the slippery side going towards the thread, all right? So you wanna grab some of that embroidery thread and you're gonna wanna bring it through this hoop right here. Just bring it and make sure it goes through. You're gonna grab it from both sides so that you don't, um, so that you make sure it goes through. See, I got it both hands and I'm just bringing it up and under. Now it's through the hoop right there, as you guys can see. Now the next thing you wanna do is bring it behind number two, which is kind of like behind the machine, but in here, right? And then you're gonna drop it down here all the way down to number three. Right at the front of the machine, you're gonna go down around and back up all right to number four at the top of the machine right here now with number four you're going to want to kind of keep the thread on the right side bring it around over and back and what you're trying to do and i missed what you're trying to do right now is you're trying to get the thread um good to go around this little silver loop that's in the middle so you're going to bring it around back here make sure it drops in and boom, the hoop um, caught the thread and you're gonna come back down to number five. Now that we brought the thread down to number five, we see number six right here. This is where it gets a little interesting because we gotta get this thread behind this little loop right here. So we're gonna grab it with one hand, grab it with the other hand, and we're gonna go in that little loop. You use our thumb to pull it through, and I missed. Let me do it again your thumb and you kind of like pull it through so now it's hooped in there you let go and then we're going to come up like so and it shows it in the picture right above it come up and go into number seven in this little groove right here right into number seven in that little groove just like it shows on the picture right above it right see that picture right there boom same thing right now we're going to come up to number eight the picture shows number eight. This is number eight right here on the side. And then we go ahead and we drop our presser foot down right there. Drop the presser foot down, all right? And you're gonna see how the machine threads the needle. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this lever right here and you're gonna see the machine thread the needle by itself. Watch this when I push this button. 
And right now, if you can see, you guys probably can't see because it's hard. Let me try to get a close up for you guys. So this is what happened guys. The machine just threaded the needle by me pushing down that lever and have everything in place. So you see the little hoop going through the needle. So what I like to do is take something sharp, grab that little hoop, and just pull the thread all the way through. All right, I just pull the thread all the way through. All right, so now the embroidery machine is threaded and it's ready to go. So now that we've learned how to thread the machine, I didn't show you how to insert the bobbin that you wound up. I didn't show you how to wind the bobbin up either. I'll show you that in another video. But for right now, let's assume that you have a wound bobbin. The illustration to show you how to do it is right here. So we're gonna do just like the illustration says. We're gonna go ahead and press and release this door right here. You just pull, just pull this little tab right here over, backwards. Let me see if I can get a good view for you guys. Pull it backwards and that pops up. So then we take and release, we take the door off, put it off to the side right here. So then we get our bobbin and we go ahead and place it this way. Like I can pull it this way. You guys see that? I place it like that inside of the machine. It just sits right there and then I bring it through this little tab right here. This little tab right here, I want the thread to come behind it. So the thread is going behind it, and then I go ahead and trace this up, like so, and then I bring it around, like so, and then, boom, it snaps off. Right there, the remainder thread just snapped off, and we're all good to go with that. So we replace the door, just put it back in, put it in that little slot right there, right there, see how it went down, and then just push it down, and it locks into place. We're good, ready to embroider. Hope that was helpful guys. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna buy a brother's embroidery machine, make sure you use my link in the section description of the video down below. If you wanna buy a Silhouette Cameo 3, make sure you use my link down in the description. If you wanna buy anything off of Amazon, make sure you guys are using my links and definitely visit the merch store alanaway.com and buy something in support of this channel. That's alanaway.com. That's this YouTube channel and my official merch store so you guys can go check out what's in there right now. And I'll be putting more stuff and more stuff and more stuff in the merch store in up and coming weeks. Um, I'm dropping the, the black Jesus shirt on there. Um, this week sometime so stay tuned for that supplies are limited um i did tell some of my friends that about the hat and a few people picked them up so i gotta go get pick up some more um supplies to make some more so if you're going if you're interested in this hat make sure you head to the store right now and grab it real fast while supplies last guys so uh yes your boy alan wade oh yeah make sure you uh subscribe so you guys can check out the up and coming cancun trip for my birthday, April 6th, in about two and a half weeks, me and Chanel are going to Cancun. It's going to be ball. I'm taking you guys with me. I'm going to get as intricate as I can and show you guys the ins and outs to help you guys feel like you're actually with us on that trip, guys. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that. Definitely, guys. And don't forget, um, another thing coming up is my, uh, I want to show you guys how I put this decals on the wall in the podcast area. So make sure you guys are tuned in for that. We got that coming up. And also on the, what is the 27th, I'm doing the drawing, the drawing for this month's winner. So make sure you are um, entered in for your chance to win some free merchandise that I'm gonna mail to you guys. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you take the steps necessary and the post that I made so you guys can be eligible for that. It's your boy, man. Alan Wade, King Alan Alexander on all social medias, A-Dub. I'm out, peace.